Okay, real quickly about this one. If anybody, anybody who's watching this has probably watched some of my videos and they've seen this thing fly. This is the FMS P51 1450 millimeter version 8. So it is the later version that they have out there. They still sell them. They haven't improved anything in, in several years now, but it is the latest version. You can still buy them. And I, I did replace the prop on here because my decals had wore off really quickly. Early on, when I after I had maybe one or two flights on this thing, because it got caught in the grass and the grass wiped off all of the decals. And I also had a, a minor accident with this. If you saw one of my videos, there's a video out there that talks about the crash and it shows it on there. I, I rolled this thing while I was flying downwind, turning on the base wind. It, I lost coordination with it. There was nothing wrong with the airplane or the radio. And I rolled it and by the time I leveled it out, it went steep down into the ground. But fortunately, fortunately for me, where it went down in the field, it was a ditch. So it only rode the slope of the ditch down. It never actually impacted hard ground. So all it did was it ripped off those two fuel tanks over there. And that was it. I was able to take the airplane back and check the landing gear and, you know, and get it all set to go and finish the flight. No problem. But I didn't like the way the props sounded. It might have been just a psychological thing because I knew I had gone in. I didn't like the way it sounded. So I ordered a new prop hub and spinner and prop all together. And partially because I wanted the new blades with the uh, decals. So I did that. So I have a spare, I have a spare prop hub and spinner assembly. You can see on here the uh, little markers Sharpie markers they have on the spinner to the hub. That's because when you balance this, you balance the prop, the propeller, the hub, and the spinner all together as one assembly. But you have to take the spinner off to put it on and off the airplane. So I marked the spinner to the hub in the position it was when it was balanced. So when I install the spinner on it, it'll go in the same position. That's all that is. This is the Duchess Arlene. It is the red tail version. Beautiful airplane. Love this airplane. It's got a Tuskegee Airman in there. And I get a light here and I'll show you it does. You can see the canopy, uh, I mean the instrument panel. Here's the instrument panel. Retractable gear. And it's got the compression oleo struts. It also has retractable tail wheel. Real nice airplane. I also have a video of the build. I made a build video on this thing. And it was a challenge to build it. I could probably build another one if I had to replace it a little bit easier. But there are elements to it that were a challenge to build. And I will post that video even though that was done over a year ago. <laughs> Uh, at least last winter, I think it was done. You know, I will post it. And the reason I didn't, they had kind of lived out their time. They weren't the headliners anymore. I figured the build videos had been out on them. Yeah, I would just be behind the game. But I'm seeing a lot of people still buying them. So I figured, why not? I'll just put that build video up. These are my external fuel tanks. When I crashed the thing. The rails stayed on the airplane, but the foam underneath them split right off and separated the tanks. I've since glued them all back together, and I have flown this thing with the repaired tanks on it, so that's fine. So, now we'll move on to some of the other airplanes. Okay, let's take a walk, and I'll, I'll show you some of the rest of the stuff here, where I keep everything. This is supposed to be my man cave in the making. And there's my wood stove. The wood stove, in the summertime, the basement is really cool in the summertime. It averages around 60-some degrees in, a, in the summertime. It's even cooler in there during the summer. So that's where I store all my lipos. I have a plastic tub and I put all my lipo batteries in there in the summertime. If anything was to go wrong, of course I only keep them at storage voltage, but if anything was to go wrong, it would should stay contained because that is a solid steel or iron, steel, I think it's steel, solid steel uh, wood stove. 
one of these days I plan on putting a widescreen TV down here. But that's all in the plans. But over here in the corner is where I keep all my airplanes. The sun's shining in there now, so it's kind of... It is lighting up a little bit, but it's also a little too bright in areas. Up top here on the shelf is where I keep my Harbor Freight P-51s. The one with wheels. And the one without. I'll show you guys those a little bit later. My E-Flight Timber. And I keep the uh, wings right next to it. It's easier to store with the wings off. The wings are attached together as one wing, but I just mount them to the top of the airplane when I want to fly it. Got my prop here. Replacement spinner. These are uh, a couple of spare airplane kits. I got a spare P-51 uh, Harbor Freight as a backup. I have a spare, believe it or not, a spare timber. I, I'm going to build that one. That's not just going to sit there a box, but I'm going to have a second timber. I bought that as a backup in case I damaged my other one beyond repair because I did have a minor accident with it, but I was worried about it, so I decided to buy a second airplane, but it turned out that I was able to repair it, so I still have this. I have a couple other airplanes to build. I'll show you those here in a little bit. Of course, I keep my uh, indoor little gyrocopter type deal here. That's for winter time. I can fly it in the house. A few spare parts. A few spare radios. Timber floats. That is the direct, direct F-18 that I told you about a few moments ago. I just stripped everything out of it and, and put it on the other airplane. And here's my balancing stand right there. So what we'll do is I'll show you uh, some of the projects I'm going to build here shortly. Here's my wood wood stack for the wood stove. It's, it's down low right now because I need to get it low enough to where I can move it. I need to drag the whole thing over to make room for a second rack. I need a second rack for all these planes that I'm building. I'm probably not going to build any more than two racks will take up, but for now that's what I need to do. It's going to go right there and that wood pile is going to move over a little bit. Alright, so we're going to come back over here and uh, we'll look at some of the projects and some of the boxes.